Hey everyone, uh, it's, uh, it's about time I do another update on amaryllis. If you've chosen to, uh, to keep your amaryllis um, past its flowering time and grow it through and try to get it flowering the next year, um, I have been growing these through since, since Christmas when, when they uh, usually are found in, in uh, the grocery stores or in the garden centers. And uh, they're looking quite strong. As you can see, we've got lots of, uh, lots of growth in here. This is actually the strongest the plants have looked. Um, I've got some dead leaves in here. These are just off to the side of my house. I don't really pay much attention to these. Um, as you can see also, I do have flowers. I don't know what happened here. Uh, not going to say that it's not a bad thing. It's, it's actually quite nice, but I'm a little stunned that, that it's flowering on its own without having the dormancy. So, uh, yeah. It's a, a small victory, I guess. Let's see what's under here. Oh no, it's just it's just more leaves down there. I thought maybe there's another flower bud coming up. So, like I said, a lot of nice new growth. I've been fertilizing these regularly. Uh, it is now the middle of August. So around here, I will stop watering them all together at this point. I will not let them I'll do my best not to let them get hit by rain. Uh, I'm going to let them dry out, and then this is going to cause the uh, the leaves to yellow and then die back into the bulb, and uh, it'll start it into its dormancy period. You want to have it kind of in its dormancy period by around September, because then we're going to want uh, September, October, November is when you're wanting to, to take it out of its dormancy. So as long as it has no leaves on it in around around uh, September, mid-September, uh, they need about three months of no growing and, and just in a dormant state and then uh, we'll start watering them again and we should get a, a flower bud. So anyway, stick with it and uh, stop watering them now and uh, let, them, let them do their dormancy period and then uh, I'll make another video when we uh, chop all the leaves off. And then we'll make another video when we uh, when we pull them out of dormancy to uh, to get them to flower. Anyway, stay tuned, everybody. This is just uh, an update on your amaryllis. Super easy to grow. Super easy to get to flower again. Uh, all in all, a fantastic little plant. The only thing I wish is that the leaves were a little bit more attractive, so you can have it where everybody can see them all year round. When they flower, they're great. But when they're not flowering, they're ugly as sin. So anyway, I'll uh, I'll show you guys the progress as it happens.